Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to sunny San Diego. I'm here with Daniel again. And today we got something fun for you. I guess a bit gluttonous for you, <laughs> which is kind of ironic considering San Diego is known for its healthy and fit people. But we're always out just eating as much food as we can. Last time was tacos and birria. Today is a little more American. And we're gonna go try five of the best burger joints here in the city. I got a ton of recommendations from you guys via Instagram. So I'm gonna take those recommendations, the top of the top, the most iconic places, a couple of new interesting places, and we're gonna go try and see whose burger is best. First of all, a big shout out to Cuts Clothing. I have the black Henley on today, incredible fabric, very soft, the perfect clothing for all of my travel adventures. And it's black, so it's slimming. I won't feel so bad about myself. Oh, I got a two hour parking. Yes, jackpot. I won't feel so bad about myself when I'm out eating burgers today. Also, travel deeper is the code on cuts if you wanna check that out. In the meantime, the burger adventure begins right now. You ready? I'm ready. You hungry? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. And the first stop on our list today is an institution here in San Diego. They have multiple locations, but the one we're going to is right down in Ocean Beach, and that is Hodad's. It's a fun, quirky neighborhood of Ocean Beach. We're gonna go check it out. All right, it is 1.30 on a Friday, and this is the line already for Hodad's. It's the spot to be. Oh no, that's okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Red Odes, world's best burger in the world. Over <laughs> a gazillion sold. And you guys have been here since when? 1969. Ocean Beach is the first location? Actually, Ocean Beach, but it was actually on the beach. And then it moved from the beach to Voltaire, and this one ever since. And now we also got one downtown, 10th and Broadway, and we're also in Petco Park all around the stadium. Sure. Thanks, man. Look at that. Appreciate you it. Anything else I got you? Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks, Mike. And so we just got our order here at Hodad's and we went the double cheeseburger route. Now their most famous is the bacon cheeseburger and it's a huge slab of bacon all over the top of a burger and cheese, traditional American cheese again. This is pickles, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. I asked for the works and alongside it, <laughs> onion rings. Gotta get a few onion rings just to taste it. Let's give this Hodad's burger a try. I don't know how I can fit all this. It's like a, this is like the Navajo taco. Oh, first thing that comes out, which is my favorite, is the pickles. They put tons of pickles in it, which is great. White onions. Oh, as I'm dripping stuff anywhere. Again, shout out to Cuts for the t-shirt today. It's gonna get messy. That is sloppy and delicious. Two big beef patties, run it through the garden, lettuce, tomato, onions, tons of pickles, mayonnaise, delicious. This is just a taste of America right here. Mm. You think about this? And immediately. Oh yeah. I don't think this fits in my mouth. <laughs> I don't have the same Joseph's that you have. <laughs> Easy. Don't judge me, please. Mm. There's no classy way to eat that. Mm. That's number one. This isn't a date spot. You have to be very comfortable with your date to bring them here. Three words, how would you describe it? Fatty. Yummy. Juicy. <laughs> If you're a normal person who only comes here and the only place you hit for the day, get a milkshake, onion rings, double bacon cheeseburger, listen to the planes fly overhead. Ocean Beach is a stone's throw away, just two or three blocks to the beach. 
even though you probably won't want to go to the beach after you have this burger, but it's the option. Maybe before, go to the beach, work up an appetite in the water, come over here, grab a burger, then go take a nap. Ocean Beach, Hodads, it's a must. All right, let's keep moving. All right, next up on our list, we're over in the popular Pacific Beach area at a new spot that's getting a lot of attention right now. This is Swagoo. Going inside, trying out their burgers. Let's go. This is all gonna be your top tier stuff. This is where the marveling is gonna be at the BMS scale. At least a minimum of an eight but the majority of what we have is gonna be anywhere between 10, 11, and 12. 12 being the highest okay. that you can get. This is Takamori filet. This is $250 a pound. This is A5. This is also known as Drunken Wagyu. This is uh, fed the fermented sake rice. Oh, okay. These next chambers that we have here, we have some dried stuff, some porterhouse, bone-in ribeyes, oh, yeah. some whole uh, tomahawks that we just got in a couple days ago that were starting to dry age. That one's a whole tomahawk, but that one's been aged. It's going for 100 days. 100 days, this one? What's the oldest one in here? Is this it? Yeah, it. You can see the the amount of like shrinkage, the molding, the more you get uh, the aging done, yeah. the more shrinkage you get. You get. And how, how will you serve these? Will you just cut off the top parts? Or how? This is 35 days aged. Okay. But as you can see, and then you, that's from shaving off the top yes. crust? And then the inside's gonna get this really bright white fattiness. Uh -huh. And then the marbling is still all gonna be there. And then it's gonna just be like butter, but it's gonna have a nice, funky, cheesy, nutty aroma. To okay. It. How are you doing, man? You're good. Sarah, good to yeah. meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me, where are we? What are we doing? You're at our signature Swagu uh, PV restaurant. This is our every concept all com combined to one it's butcher, burger, bar, brunch, and steak. Okay. And then tasty menu as well. And how did this come to be? You guys are new on the block, right? Yeah, we opened in in the pandemic. Uh, all we had, we were touring the entire United States, Canada, and Europe with our pop-up restaurant. We take over a certain restaurant for like three nights in a row, and you just follow our tour and buy tickets, and, and yeah. that's how it would all work. And then the pandemic came, of course, all all events stopped, right? And yeah, so we yeah. had this inventory. My boy was like, "Hey, you have a big following already for Wagyu." Just put it on your Instagram and make some meal kits or whatever. Yeah. And so then we cut up all the steaks, took pictures of it, and then and then we sold three times our inventory in 24 hours. So it was, it yeah, was yeah. crazy. Dude. And are you guys based in San Diego? In San Diego. Yeah, okay. I'm born and raised in, in Imperial Beach, and so okay. we started that online first, and then and then the and then dining kind of came back. You know, would come back a little bit or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. we were using our, our 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 restaurant kitchen, our tasting menu restaurant kitchen, and then it just exploded overnight. And now we're going on eight locations, two in Hawaii. And is it true that you are one of 20 something people that are certified? For right? Hyogo Kobe, yeah. Okay, by yeah. the Japanese government. Yeah, right? they've invited me to Japan many, many times. You know, the, the government tours me around to every prefecture. And, you know, we've gone to the Kobe auction and, and, and bought whole sears for like $50,000 for one cow and that Unreal. kind of thing. And, and that's just what we were cutting our teeth in. And then, and then we were like, okay, we're selling so many steaks. We have all this trim. Uh -huh. That's Japanese Wagyu that I'm still paying those prices. I was like, right, right. I was like, all right, let's get some American Wagyu, grind the grind the Japanese, grind the Australian, grind the American, yeah. and let's come up with our perfect burger to, to mitigate that waste and no create waste. this burger. And it was really just to move the move the waste to make a zero waste thing. Yeah. And then it exploded. Now we're negative waste. We're buying four different companies trim. Really? Yeah, because we're going through so many burgers, and that's only. That's only two locations. We're doing probably like four thousand burgers, five thousand a week. Unreal. And yeah, that's all. And we're about to open up nationwide everywhere. Let's try some burgers. Yeah, let's do it. Pickles? Yes. Simple. Simple but delicious. Now this is a hybrid burger of Japanese. Australian and American meat. <laughs> what will definitely be the richest burger that we have today. I believe he said in the kitchen it was a 30% fat content around there and all their pickles are done in-house and their sauce is made daily. Some nice traditional American cheese and two patties smashed together on a brioche bun. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Oh, 
Oh man, I love smash burgers because that, that crispy shell, the crispy outside is always so good. Simple, great sauce on the inside. Their own special sauce, really good. Oh yeah. Now I'll only do a very limited amount of fries at each place in order to extend today's stomach, in order for us to be able to accomplish our, our goals today. But here, nitro potatoes, they call them. Crispy, almost like home fries. Let's give these a try. Whoa, a home fry and a tater tot had a baby. Mmm. That is really good. <laughs> that was probably the most education we're gonna get from a place on our list today. Swagoo, Pacific Beach. That was delicious. All right, let's keep going. All right, next up on our list, we're heading to the friendly. Are we in University Heights? North Park. No, we are in North Park, okay. University Heights doesn't start until I think past Texas. It's like University Heights, Normal Heights, North Park, we're kind of... Normal Heights, North Park, University Heights. No, yeah. Heights, 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 Heights. So we're in North, North Park. Yeah. You're in the nut. <laughs> we're in the nut? The nutty P. We're in the nutty P. All right, so for the we're here in the Nutty P. Great environment, great energy all around. And our next spot, we're heading to a place called The Friendly, which is a lot of people's favorite burger selection. It actually says pizza and more on the sign, and I think that more means one of the best burgers in San Diego. So we're here right now, unsuspecting little spot. Let's go check it out. You didn't know how she thought I worked here? I'm not sure. So everyone tells me come here for the burger, but yeah. you're clearly pizza and more. What's the more? Um, well, all the specials that we do, you know, we do like little collabs with like chefs around the neighborhood, okay. and we'll have like a day where it's just this is our new item on the menu here today, gone tomorrow. Really? Yeah. What so burgers always more. stay? Burgers, yeah. We sell way more than than the pizza. <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. So why don't you call it burgers and more? Because then people will just assume they know all about us. I like that. I like that a lot. sitting down outside the friendly and this is the burger as straightforward just a fastball right down the middle you have two smashed patties american cheese mayonnaise on either side and just a bun that was quickly grilled on that dirty flat top it's actually called a dirty flat top burger <laughs> and here we go no condiments no pickles no fuss also just a little bit of diced grilled onions underneath the cheese you know how I feel about those crunchy bits. All right, here we go. And one other interesting thing before I dive in here is the vibe in there is very interesting. They've only been here for about four years, but it seems like they've been here forever. And John was saying that they've taken over for an older restaurant. And they said, don't change a thing. We want the same feel. And it really is a very old diner style feel in there. And really cool because you really don't know what you're gonna get when you go in there. It says pizzas and more on there and everybody's in there ordering burgers so the pizza's sitting off to the side the burgers are on high demand and here we go no more stalling let's give this a try <laughs> this is my speed have you been here before you know how good these are you always come here well, when I used to live here, yes, when I used to live closer this way, but I moved up close um, towards Escondido now. Yeah. So I don't get them as often, but I was just down this way, so I drove like 15 <laughs> minutes out of the way to come and get some fries. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it awesome. sucks that they don't have fries, but... They're so good. Yes, they are very good. It's just straight up. Mm -hmm, a plane straight to the point where <laughs> I like it. I love it. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you. Honestly, these are so good. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say yeah. We'll wait till the end of the video before I give my scoring of all the ones that we try, but mm. 
thin, thin, thin. Mmm. And that mayonnaise is like a garlic mayonnaise too. And the onions, the grilled onions in there, simple. Damn near perfect. Wow. No, it's the crunch. The crunch from that burger to me. That's what makes it. That's the dirty flat top talking. And it's speaking my love language. Can we start trying it? Yeah, man. It won't be alive. So good. What do you usually go with? I usually go, so when I come here, I usually just get the, the meat lovers uh -huh. and with the pizza too. So oh, you I'll, do? I'll devour the, the burger and to just get the more like the greasy of it, yeah. I'll get the, the pizza and then I'll be full for the like <laughs> a good two hours, two, three hours and that's it. So you get a burger and the pizza? Oh yeah, man. And the pizzas are like the New York styles too. Yeah, yeah. So just toss it in, it's fresh and comes out hot. So like ready to eat. That's why by the time I finish the burger, uh -huh. it's the, the pizza's nice and like cooled down Yeah. and it's not too cold. So it's warm, like she still melts off the, the bite. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in one. You go right in. What's the occasion? Uh, golf. Golf? Who won? Cheers, boys. Yeah, he did. Cheers, boys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Slowly, slowly, slowly. All right, next up on our hit list is over in Bankers Hill, right next to Balboa Park. We have the Balboa, the bar and grill, a little dive spot just north of the city of downtown. We're gonna go in, try their burger. Here we go. Um, do you want fries with it? We are now at Balboa for this stop. They divided the burger in half. Didn't even ask us how we wanted to cook. And I respect that. It's like, this is how we're gonna cook the burger. And look at that. That, my friends, is a perfectly cooked burger. Look at the juice. <laughs> we got cheese, lettuce, tomato, very thin slices of onions, which I like. Like, Hodad's onions were really thick and there was a ton of them. I like a nice thin, don't overpower me with the onions. Just come in nice and light. But look at that juiciness. Here we go. Nice fresh bun. Hmm. Is there a... What's the seasoning on that burger? Just salt and pepper, but there's a... Uh, Is there a house sauce? There's a chipotle and oil. There's something going on here. There was a wild card. They both did it. <laughs> the whole crew just laughed at me as I made that face. Like, he doesn't know what he's about to bite into. A chipotle, what is it? Chipotle what? It's just a chipotle aioli. Chipotle aioli. It just hit me with this smokiness and I was like, where's that coming from? It's coming from the aioli. And they serve it up with some garlic fries, just raw garlic mixed up with the fries. These smelled amazing. <laughs> oh man. One piece of advice, if you come here on a date, do not get the garlic fries, all right? Unless you both get the garlic fries and then it, it negates the two. But if you're coming here on a first date, <laughs> those garlic fries are gonna sit with you and as long as, as long as you guys both are on the same page, you're in good shape. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a dangerous game. Thanks boys. For those of you who made the suggestions on Instagram, I appreciate it. We're gonna dive into this. All right, we are now at our fifth and final location of the day. We are in Barrio Logan, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite food neighborhoods in all of San Diego. And we're going to Hayes' Burger. This is a spot right off of Chicano Park. And on the other side of this park is Las Cuatro Milpas, one of my favorite taco spots. If you haven't seen that video, you gotta do it. Daniel, hunger-wise, how are you feeling? I'm hungry. <laughs> Daddy's hungry, ready to go. 
We've had a half a burger at each spot, so we try to pace ourselves, but we're professionals and we're here for you to try all of the best burgers, the most iconic burgers as the Harley goes by, the most iconic burgers that San Diego has to offer. And we got one more. We have room for one more in our system. Let's go, Hayes Burger. The story was uh, my other like two partners. They uh -huh. had the idea of opening a restaurant, and they saw that like there was like no burgers around here. Yeah. And Jose, coming from a family of restaurants, he already worked at a, like a hamburger restaurant. So uh -huh. like I got a, I got a, a one that I want to make. You know, like I got an idea, and yeah. he developed like the entire concept. And me and Alejandro, Alejandro, we just like jumped in. Like, dude, like this is tight. Uh, yeah, it's a great move. And I'm, I, I just said on camera, like. Body of Logan to me is becoming like one of my favorite Dude, food it, spots. It's tight, man. There's a lot of culture. There's a lot of cool people here, man. Yeah. It's like, it's one of like those like neighborhoods that are, like movie type of stuff. Like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. still going on, you know. Like, uh, you know, everyone in the blog, like everyone stops and talks to you. You know, yeah. it's it's super tight. Man. Let's hope it stays like that, right? Yeah, and I hope it stays like that forever, man. You know. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You All right, we're here. Yeah. Classic. It's just that that one doesn't have it. You just like throw it on top. Alright, here we go. We got the Hayes burger. Double cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, special sauce, and caramelized onions. This is extra smash. This is right up my alley. Look at that very very thin that might be the crispiest of all of them today and we're right here chicano park is right behind daniel you got the historical mural right here very cool spot inside but look at that beauty and that bun is so soft and buttery i i shouldn't be hungry right now <laughs> but this looks delicious oh Damn. Lettuce and tomato, and that special mayonnaise. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> they got me. So I grew up on a, I didn't realize this is a smash burger. California makes it cool by calling it a smash burger. I grew up on very thin patties, upstate New York, white American cheese on a hard roll, Bill Gray's, Tom Walls, Shaler's, and upstate New York. All the Rochester people watching this, you know. So that is my, my pinnacle. That's the best of the best. But these smash burgers with that crispy bit on the outside, wow, with the caramelized onions. That is delicious. The only thing I would add here is maybe some pickles. But besides that, this is top of the top. And that buttery bun. Oh, mama. What? Why am I so hungry? Why does it still excite me? It does. And that means I'm in the right profession, right? If I still get excited on my fifth burger, this just makes me question everything. And at the same time, it makes me feel good about the world and my decisions. I love it. Body of Logan, Hayes Burger. Definitely add this to your list. I love the consideration you always take after you bite. The bread's really good. All right, three words to describe it. Buena, bonita, y barata. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> that does it for our burger journey here in San Diego. Now you have a list of five places that you can check out, must try places, a few new places, a few iconic spots. Maybe you don't have to do them all in one day, but if you want to, here's your list if you have the stomach for it. Otherwise space them out but I guess we should pick a couple favorites Daniel do you have a favorite from today yeah I think this 
Swagyu. Swagyu? Luxurious taste. That was definitely the richest, most luxurious of all the burgers at $18 a pop. You're not gonna get a fancier burger here in San Diego. For me, it's a tight race. The friendly and here at Hayes, I love just that thin crispiness. If both of those had pickles, and, and we just talked to guys at Hayes, they said you can add pickles to that. I'm sure the friendly would allow you to do the same thing, but those were both delicious. Balboa probably had the best cooked burger. That was like medium rare. We didn't even ask for it. That was delicious. And of course, Hodad's is a classic, just absolutely massive. That is a full meal, a full day of eating right in one sandwich, but we battled through it. And again, a big thank you to Cuts Clothing. Look, can't even tell. All the grease and the drippings from burgers today still looks like new. <laughs> even the meat sweats blend in, right? Can't even tell, right? Big thank you to Cuts Clothing, a great sponsor for this channel. And their fall collection is dropping very soon. All the information is in the video description. Make sure you go check them out. Use code TRAVELDEEPER for 15% off of all clothing at checkout. And as always, please smash that like button if you like the video, it helps a ton. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you made it this far in the video, what are we doing? You gotta subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you get updates whenever I drop a new video every single week. And Daniel, thank you so much, buddy. As always, appreciate it. You thank full? You I'm full, man. <laughs> Good. For the nap. Mission accomplished. Let's go take a nap. Not together. We're just gonna, whatever. See you guys next week. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's me, I, I had a bad start. <laughs> I'm too old for this shark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of practice. Alright, I'm really leaving. Hey, you guys. Alright, later, bud. This is always a sign of a good time. <laughs> I got him on my face. This cut shirt, by the way, extra large. I'm gonna size up more than normal for food videos. <laughs> Smart. What do you think? Really good. Thank you, Garrett. <laughs> Again, I love to eat with you, man. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Wrong way, just kidding. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? You didn't know how she thought I worked here? It's messed up. You grab yourself a nice double cheeseburger and then you go down to the beach, throw on your swim trunks and jump in for a swim. <laughs> this, is a, this is a day off on the beach. You have this, you rest for a couple days and then you get back in the water. You, If you go swimming after you eat this, straight to the bottom. You'll be fish food. Also got some more of that little sauce right here to dip your fries in. Oh, this is the chip. The same, same chipotle the same, oil. Yep, same chipotle aioli. Right say that five times fast. Yeah, chipotle aioli. Ch I couldn't even say it. Chipotle aioli. Chipotle. You could say it. Chipotle aioli. Chipotle aioli. You gonna say chipotle aioli? Can't see. Stop. Chipotle aioli. Impossible.